good morning students today we are going to discuss applications of nano materials right so various application of nano materials are in medicine in computers in electronics in mobile in fabrics in energy in textile in military now we will continue with the next first application of this that is uh, application of nanoparticles in medicine so nanoparticles are used for drug delivery and drug therapy right it enables drug to be delivered precisely at the right location in the body and the release drug doses on a predetermined schedule for optimal treatment so in this case we just attach the drug to a nano sized carrier and then release of medicine at localized space localized uh, disease site that kills the tumor at that site then nanobots are also used for clearing blockage and uh, in arteries uh, or we can say we can call them chemotherapy right so here uh, this is a cancer this is a diagram for cancer diagnosed patient so we just treat that patient we inject that uh, nano drug in that patient and then for targeting medication then in that case a tumor is uh, uh, specified and then we just uh, for the treatment of the tumor we just put medicine along with nano sized particles so uh, localized this is a localized therapy and after killing cancer cells at specific tumor site we just obtained the recovered patient and in case another application of nano particles in case of computers so nanotechnology is used in memory and storage and in this above figure we just see that uh, in 1980s 2 2 gb hard drive it weighs about 70 pounds it was first used in 1980s so it cost at 3 3 time ranged from dollar 80000 to dollar 140000 so in the mid finger in 1990 Uh, again this is a 2 gb hard drive and it cost was dollar 200 dollar dollar 200 then in the current research shows that using nanotechnology uh, in 2010 the 2 gb hard drive cost dollar 5 in 2010 but in current research shows that by using nanotechnology the 1000 gb memory can fit the head of this pin we can say as shown in this figure below it means 1 terabyte that is equal to 1000 gb is placed on the tip of this pin right this is another application in computers then this is also another application we are using magnetic random access memory that is mram enabled by nanometer scale magnetic tunnel junctions that can quickly and effectively save even encrypted data during a system shutdown or crash so that enable resume play features and gather vehicle accident data we can say this is a diagram shown in the figure for mram right the next is nanoparticle applications in uh, electronics so here we use electrodes made from nanowires that enable flat panel displays to be flexible as well as thinner than current flat panel displays right so panels made of nano wires are flexible and very much thinner as compared to the conventional flat panels then here nano lithography is used for fabrication of those panels or fabrication of chips or we can so we can say that uh, that is called vlsi very large scale integrated circuits right and the transistors are made of nano wires that are assembled on a glass thin film of flexible plastic right so e paper displays on sun glasses and map on car windshields that are make use by making use of nano nanoparticles nano scale transistors are very faster more powerful and increasing energy efficient so your computer entire memory may be stored on a single tiny chip tiny chip made of uh, 1 mm in size or less than uh, 1 mm in size number of transistors are uh, installed in that chip we can say so size is very reduced highly lightweight reduced size and number of applications and equally efficient as compared to the conventional transistors so this is the one of the uh, emerging field that is nano technology in electronics 
so again displays for many neat TVs laptop computers cell phones digital cameras and other devices that incorporate nanostructured polymer films known as organic light emitting diodes OLEDs so OLED screen offer brighter images in a flat format as well as wider viewing angles they are lighter in weight they have better picture density they have low power consumption and longer lifetimes other computing electronic products including flash memory chips for iPods nanos ultra responsive hearing aids anti microbial and antibacterial coatings on mouse keyboard and cell phone casings conductive inks for printed electronics for RFID and smart cards or smart packaging RFID means radio frequency integrated design packaging more lifelike video games and flexible displays displays for ebook readers right so there are number of applications in electronic equipments of nanoparticles so in mobile phones and the morph technology or morph concept will be super hydrophobic making it extremely dirt repellent it will be able to charge itself from available light sources using soto uh, photovoltaic nanowire nanowire grass covering its surface right so it is charging itself with light so nanoscale electronics are low stretching we can stretch them as shown in the figure nanoscale mesh of fibers will allow our mobile devices to be bent like this stretched and folded in any number of conceivable shapes we can say right so in case of uh, nanoparticle application fabrics the use of engineered nanofibers already makes clothes water and stain repellent or wrinkle free fabrics made with nanoparticles can be washed less frequently and at low temperatures nanotechnology can be used for full surface protection from electrostatic charges for the wearer right in case of uh, nanoparticle application in energy we are using photovoltaic solar cells for uh, storing energy so in conventional cells single crystal silicon traditional cells general electricity directly from sunlight uh, by two main types first is a single crystal silicon cells that is they are traditional cells widespread they are expensive to manufacture they have very less efficiency but if we are using nano sized uh, crystal silicon cells there are newer 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 uh, we can say dye sensitized inexpensive they are very inexpensive to manufacture they have very high efficiency and very flexible solar cells coated with thin films of sil silicon of 1 nanometer are most efficient and offers more absorption of photons thin films improve performance by 60% of uv rays as absorbed single wall cnt's are most efficiently than nanoparticles alone they are more efficient okay nanoparticles applications in energy again is that uh, nanoparticle uh, quantum dots they are used to increase efficiency of the solar cells uh, or conventional materials in one photon generates one electron we know but quantum dots have potential to generate multiple electrons use of dots increase the electrons to move from valence band to conduction band very easily right so this is a schematic uh, diagram for uh, quantum dots right so another application of uh, nanoparticles is scientists has have invented a plastic solar cell that can turn the sun's power into electrical energy even on a cloudy day the new materials uses nanotechnology and absorbs the infrared part of the sun's energy right so flexible these are flexible these are roller processed solar cells and they have the potential to turn the sun's power into a clean green and consistent source of energy right so in another application is uh, in case of wind energy so blades in the conventional method blades on the wind turbine that uh, uh absorb the kinetic energy from the wind and convert it into mechanical energy and that mechanical energy turns a shaft in a generator and a generator generate the electricity as shown in the this diagram so disadvantage of wind turbines are there is variation in wind speed sometimes the wind speed is very high sometimes the wind speed is very low there is a power control so we can't control the power of the wind uh, as it varies third it is lifetime weight power losses efficiency efficiency is not so high 
it's not for lifetime uh, its lifetime is very less weight is very high losses of power are also there and efficiency is very low these are some of the disadvantages in order to remove this advantage these disadvantages we are making we are using nanoparticles so nanotechnology in wind turbines how nano composite in case of weight nano composite materials with excellent strength to weight and stiffness to weight ratio enable construction of longer more robust robust plates then there are energy losses but we here we using low friction coatings and nano lubricants they provide means to reduce energy losses in gear boxes and thus further increase efficiency in this case uh, another is blades and cnt carbon nanotubes developed to make blades stronger and lighter improving energy efficiency in this case then another one is the lifetime nano paints used in blades they are used to increase wing turbines lifetime in this case so these uh, disadvantages which are used in conventional methods of producing uh, 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 for producing electricity these are removed by nanotechnology in wind turbines right so another uh, application of nanotechnology in energy that is nano op optimized energy storage that is by making use of super capacitors by using cnt's or graphene or we can say carbon nanotubes carbon aerogels or nanoporous substances are perfectly suitable as graphite electron materials in super capacitors due to their extremely high inner surface and then due to their power density of more than 10 kilowatt per kil kilogram and they are used in mobile applications where high energy amount have to be provided in a short period of time right so another application in energy or we can say in another application nano materials in military that is by by using nanotechnology military would be able to create sensor system that could detect biological agents nano particles can be injected into the material on soldiers uniform to not only make the material more durable but also to protect soldiers from many different dangers such as high temperature impact and another uh, chemicals also right so this these are the various applications of nano materials thank you very much if you have any query we you can discuss or you can comment in the my youtube channel okay thank you very much